That's gone. They just rotted off of there. Shh! Quiet on the set. Okay, today in the shop, we got a truck. We just bought this thing. Bought it sight unseen. It's an 87 Chevy truck. What's Which, it for, Land? It's my replacement truck because I can't keep a motor in mine. He's got a hard problem. His right foot doesn't communicate with his brain sometimes, and uh, we're working on that. But until then, he's gonna drive this old girl, but it doesn't currently run. But the problem is we're going on a family vacation, right? Yep. So we're gonna push this thing out of the shop, and Ben's gonna come back this next week, and he's gonna bring it in and work on it, and hopefully have it running. 30 minutes, an hour, he should have it running, no problem. Stay tuned. Hey there, here we go again, another morning. We got uh, another project we gotta get done. So, 87 truck, K1500. She's a little rough, so I'm gonna throw a battery in it. Doesn't start right now, so we'll see what we gotta do. All right, we got our battery hooked up now. Let's see if she fires up. Wow, look at that. I think we'll uh, pull it in, see what else we got brakes whatnot we'll go from there all right we're back under the hood here to see what else we got going on and we have a thermostat issue uh, i'm gonna tear into this and see what i can find on it there's also a vacuum line that's off right by the throttle body so i'm gonna take care of that it's just full of junk i mean look at this let's see what mess we got here it's got a nice thing out silicone under it so we got leaking now we're pouring everywhere hold hold on one second that's nah, not the greatest but here's what we got they have epoxied thermostat housing on we're gonna change the thermostat while we're at it but here is our initial problem they broke the bolt off so we're gonna have to see if we can extract that and put the right size in it I'll see what I can do and let you guys know. We've got the thermostat cleaned up so we can take a look at it. Nice broken bolt in that thing. So I'll go get a nut and weld on it and we'll see if we can extract this bolt or not. All right, here we are again, back at this thing. We've got to fix this hole, but someone decided to show back up. Side I come back to work. Yeah. So Ben, Got all of the bolt out of there. He drilled all the bolt out. Now we'll just take the TIG welder and weld that hole up and re-drill and tap it and we should be fixed. I'm not the greatest TIG welder ever known to man, but I can plug a hole and that's plug. We'll grind it flat, set the cap back on it, mark it, and then we'll drill it and tap it out. We should be good to go at that point, so. We'll see if we can make it flat in here. Looking pretty Look, good. I think that looks just dandy. We just gotta make a make a hole in it. Light works. I couldn't let Ben be the only one with a cool pocket light. We're gonna have to find the tools now. <laughs> got my own light. Don't you laugh at me, Landon. I got myself a light. I don't have a cool pocket light, Ben, but I got his light. I'm gonna put one bolt in it. Okay. And then. I got these sweet transfer punches that you all sent to me. I'm gonna show you what they're for right here. Perfect. So this is the same size as the hole. You got it lined up where you like it? Yep. Is that the boss? And is it the boss? The it boss. is the boss. Okay, look at that little dot it put in there, Land. That's where we're gonna drill that hole. Stand look at me. Let me help you a little bit. You got black stuff all over in your eyeball. Just work. <laughs> I like to get into my work. You'd never be able to straight hole in your life. Hey Landon, do you approve of this truck? Sort of. So it's a temporary? And we figured out a way to make it so it lasts longer. Oh yeah. Governor. It will <laughs> definitely make Bobby it. Will <laughs> Won't blow up then. So let's all take bets on how long it's gonna take Landers to blow this girl up. It ain't his, he ain't blowing it up. <laughs> it's a V6. It's not a fire-breathing dragon, Land. This is a point A to point B vehicle. Look at this thing. 
He's not liking that. I'm not. He's not, he's not, he's not. So, <laughs> how long do you think it'll take, Landers? A long time. Okay. Just say Wait. it's not going to get blown up. That's what I mean by that, a long time. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to drive it good. Like driving Miss Daisy, 25, to church. So, in other words, you can't drive it like your dad. Yeah. <laughs> the reason your dad can do that is because your dad owns it. And your dad has to fix it. Yeah. So we got to get a belt for the AC, though, because it's got to have AC. Yeah, why not? I mean, you can't take the ladies out with no AC. I mean, like... All right, Ben was doing it the manual way, and, well, that just takes forever. Check those threads out. She's drilled, tapped. We're right stuffing this on right now. Those threads are good. They better be. I just tapped them, so they you ought to be You just did them, good. so. Yeah, they ought to be. Oh, look at that. Threads right in. Your cameramen are currently out there playing with us. Go karts and lawnmowers. Yeah, I'll sneak out there and show you what they're doing. Here's my cameraman. What's happening? Uh, we built these parts. We designed it so it won't hurt your legs anymore. I used to have a bar that would go from here to here, kind yeah. of like that. Well, it was kind of like this. It was felt like this, and you hit your knee off of it. So we removed that. Now you're good to go. Yep. Sounds great. What are you guys doing? Braden's bolting the derby mower, so. Yeah, just like that one. I thought you were filming for me. I was, but Graydon needs my help. All right, finished product. Two bolts in it like it ought to be. We're waiting on AC belt and a new belt here, but we're gonna fire this thing up, make sure it runs, get coolant all checked. Everything will be happy. And then we'll lift it up, change the oil. The clutch has got some air in it. We gotta do the brakes. We got some little stuff to deal with, but should be ripping by tonight. All right, we're gonna fire this pig up and see if this leaks. That way it runs pretty good. It's not Uncle Ben and you've been working on it. She's in mint. All right, so she's pretty bone stock. Air cleaner's all back on it. We're just still trying to get it up to engine temp, see if thermostat opens, everything's good. Ben replaced the tumbler. So we're all good on that. So it fires right up, seems good. All right, so we've got some issues under here. Um, the ratchet strap is currently holding the gas tank in because that's gone. It's just rotted off of there. Everything else seems to be okay. The exhaust system's not good. It's rotted out back here. It's junk. So we're probably gonna end up putting, at least from the cat here back, we're gonna end up putting a new exhaust system on it, but the frame is not rotten anywhere I can see. Yeah, you joints look good. We'll go down to the boneyard and pick us up a gas tank strap and get that all swapped out and fixed. And all in all, I think, I think we got a pretty good old ride here. Anything in there? Huh. Well, we'll pull the bottom one and we'll just change it while we're here. Oh, that's, well, that's not bad. That ain't bad. He'll drain that out and we'll start doing, we'll drain the engine oil and get some stuff fixed on it. Well, this sucks. We, uh, we got an oil bath. We uh, have that full, so I decided I would drain it. Wasn't holding it. It air bubbled, blew it out of the tank. And the rest is history. <laughs> he got the he got the direct hit. Yeah, I got the after effect. That's a full blown right. Uh, you can see where I was standing. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, hold that in just a second. I got it. You go ahead and finish this. Out. All right. So I went out and dug through the old parts thing. Found a Flowmaster. It's a 50 series. It's gonna be perfect on this. We're gonna cut the exhaust off, build a new section, weld it in there. So. We'll saw us all up. I'm gonna get me some ear pluggers first though. Got it. Okay, now we'll just bend a little piece of exhaust tubing up and weld her in. She'll be good to go. All right, we got the exhaust mocked up. We're gonna go ahead and weld it. Then we'll let it down, put some oil in it. And then we should be in good shape. Exhaust is welded on. That's it. Property. She's all good to go. We'll look in front of that. All right, we found a few more problems. Look right at the tire like this. Oh. 
That's not good. This one I think is wheel bearing. Yep. This one over here, on the other hand, this nut is not tight. There's ball joints on the top, so. So I think we tighten and tighten. We'll do that. We'll do some tightening. <laughs> Pull some tires off and deal with that. Doesn't look terrible inside of it. Not like mine? No. Oh! That's, there's nothing wrong with that. They just forgot to tighten it up. Got to pull the clip off of this thing. Trying to. If I could get tools put back from some kids. Oh, yeah, look at that. Then I just forgot it was on Clip. Daughter. Yeah, I think we're going to. Go ahead and pull this first nut off of here and see what we got going. I mean, it's it's not even more. So it's on the right way. They just didn't tighten it up. They just didn't get her tight. That was way loose. How's that feel? Good. Feel good? Sounds a little rattly. Yeah. Maybe we should pull that caliper off and spin it. Let's see if there's a bearing that blew up. Suspicious maybe. in there. That's that's a bearing noise. I'm starting to think maybe they just pumped some grease on the outside bearing. Bad possible. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna find out here, but something doesn't sound good inside. We'll yeah. pull it apart and know in a second. Yeah, that one's smoked. There you go. Yeah, I think this one's smoked too. Yep. I'm gonna put it back on and put the nut on it. Here's your little tech tip to get that oil seal out of the back of that. Take this, slip it on, just start it a couple of threads, and then just take this thing like that. It'll pull that seal right out and won't ruin it. And you can put it right back in there and use it again. We'll clean it up, make sure it's good. If it's not good, We'll put two new ones in it and voila. We'll clean this greasy trap up. We're about to have a sparkly clean thing here. All right, so we thought we had wheel bearings for this, but we don't. We ended up using them on Ben's Jeep and we thought we replaced them, but we didn't replace them. He had some, but he had the wrong ones. So we'll order them. They'll be here tomorrow. And then we'll throw this back together. So. One size fits all, right? Kind of tighten. That's just bad. That's... Here, let me do some adjusting. That would have sucked if you broke okay. the brake line. I was halfway expecting it to break. Well, and you pulled on it anyway. Yeah, sometimes you just got to do stuff. Hasn't even wiggled. Not yet. Okay. No, it ain't going. No, oh, oh, wow. Let's do the air impact. Well, that's it not never even moved, did it? No, I don't think it did. Solid. Come on, free all. Free it all. You got a pry bar in there that pries all? I got the pry all bar. Okay. I don't think it's moving at all. Now, nah, might have to put some heat on it. Give her some heat. Fun stuff. I think it's been sitting like this for a day or two. Ooh, I see it bubbling in there, so that's good. Here we go. Let's hit it with the free all now and let it soak it in. We'll uh, let her set we'll, for we'll, a minute. We'll get it. Oh, it'll come off. All right, so we got the socket or the nut off of there, as you can see. We're gonna take this here socket and see if we can't get this thing out of there. Oh yeah. Twist the ears off. Well, that wasn't Probably. Very well. So what the deal is, is, this is a tapered fitting that screws down in there and they didn't get it put down in far enough so the nut was actually bottoming out on the top and it wouldn't tighten it up. This should fix it. Yeah, this We can get it out. All right, we got this whipped. We're gonna tighten it back down and uh, bolt this side up and then we're waiting on parts for tomorrow. We got some mail. Look at that. So, him sent us a ratchet that he didn't think Ben could break. Thank you, we'll, uh, we'll put her to the test. I'll try and break it. Dan and Melanie stopped by our shop the other day and 
He said he had some high temp silicone stuff that I needed to try. Send her to me and we're gonna give this stuff a try. Ben's used it, he said it's awesome, so we'll give her a whirl. This is a guy that he bought a car in 1958 and it was a 29 DeSoto for 15 bucks. This is the toolkit that came in that DeSoto. That's pretty dang cool if you ask me. So thank you, Maurice. Will, I don't know what we're gonna do with this exactly. I mean, that's just cool. But we're gonna figure something cool out to do with it, so thank you. Forgot the camera when we went to get some parts. But we've got the fuel tank. We don't really need the tank itself, but we need these, the straps. They're all rotted off of this other one. And we needed that fuel line. We got it. We're gonna go inside and get some parts put on this truck and get it running. My cameraman is done changing sprinkler pipes, so he's passing the camera. He's yours. I have the camera now. It's like passing the torch, brother. Yeah. Those are burning. Like they're, they're warm. Does it got gas in it still? No, there's nothing in it. We're gonna lube these, so maybe they'll come undone. We don't break them. So if we break them, then we gotta build new ones and we don't wanna do that, so. We turn our back for a minute and look who shows up. Hey, look at that. Hey, yeah, we're here. Look at that, got all our parts. So we can get this thing done. We got her going today. It is time, so. That's what we love. Woo! <laughs> Mary, I'll swap this out. And right, we right. are. Put this back on, get this side done. Yep. Ben will work on a fuel line that has to go in it. We harvested this new one because the old one, if you'll come under here and look, so they've they've cut this fuel line off and just run a rubber line. So we're gonna go ahead and... <laughs> right next to the exhaust. Yeah, it's, it's sketchy at best. So oh. we're gonna fix it. All right. Knock the old races out of here. Put the new ones in. And we'll be in the chips. That's the noise we were waiting for. Okay. We will uh, grease these things up, put them in, put the seal in it, slam this back together. Oh yeah, that's on. We're just filling the inside of this full of grease so that it has some. Serves two purposes. Gives it a place where water can't stay and it lubricates the bearings up. Now will press on when you tighten it. Oh, it's pushing in. We're just getting grease everywhere that we want grease and these splines and... Yep, we're, we're good, now we'll put it together. Okay, this is important. That little tit sticking out, you can see right there, needs to be facing out. Otherwise, it will get into your bearing oh, no. and you will not have a good day if it does that. Hey, that sounds like a thousand times better. Can't even hear it. Nope. Okay, you just want to set a little bit of preload on that. And then this washer goes in there and one of those holes has got to line up on that little tit and it has a, a cog in it right here. This is your lock washer. It keeps it from backing off. This is the step that wasn't followed last time. That's why that's why it was loose and it ruined the bearing. Hey, guess, first try. Guess how good I am. Can you see hey. that in there, Jace? Right in that spot right there. I I lined that. So I had that turned exactly right. It fell right in. He got lucky. That's how good I am. He got way lucky, is what he got. <laughs> it's pretty lucky. And then this nut that goes on, you cinch this one down tight. This one is what holds everything in there. Ugh. Click, click. It's good. All right, hub going back together. Um, There's a dandy hey, bird. The hub works. I did something right. Nice job. Okay. That should be like a part of school. Like if you go to mechanic school, you have to like lift tires up and down. Like PE for mechanics, you gotta work out and yeah. bench press a tire and a transmission. Lay or on axles. Your 
Hold the tire on them with the pry bar while you're breaking the knuckle loose. Yeah. Yeah, you've yeah. never you never lived until you've changed a turbo 400 on concrete with no jack. Yeah. You bench press that up and get a bolt started by yourself. You have accomplished some stuff. Yeah, if you can pull out a SM45 manual trans, change clutch. By yourself, lift it up through the doghouse and yep. out. That's how man. I've always done it. You the man. Yep. Ooh, you're not NASCAR. No, no, I'm far from NASCAR. You're like, doo -doo 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 -doo. and you're done. Should have changed the gas tank. All right, we'll let her down and uh, reposition. When did they do that? Oh yeah, make it so you can. Yeah. I don't like that. You get unscrewed now. Pretty sweet. Yes, the right one. Oh, yeah. Yay. Oh, here's the rest of the carburetor yes. gasket. Got it. Need to pull it down. Yeah. This ball joint's toast, too, now that we can fill it. We're going to make sure that it runs and dries before we waste any more money on it. Coming out. Yeah, that would have been a struggle. There it is. What a bam. Now the old and with the new. Just zips in right into the fuel filter on this one. They designed that pretty good. Make this cat heat manifold out of here. Can't get to the stuff. It didn't even fall much. <laughs> I don't think it was holding much there. No. Is it completely rusted out? Oh, yeah. Not holding. We're going to cut this one. That scared me a little bit. I kind of jumped. You, you got a little jumpy on that one? <laughs> yeah. I mean. Look. That We're was... missing parts and pieces there that are important. Is that a rag? Is there a hole in the tank? Is I'm that what they're patching? I'm looking. There's a hole in the tank. That's what they're trying to plug up there. Don't! You did it! Where's your soap? Hey, remember when we said the tank wasn't going to come out? Tank. The tank's coming out. All right, go ahead and poke a hole in it. I'm afraid now. Drain it. <laughs> <laughs> well. How bad is it in there? Pretty bad. Oh, well, it terrible. ain't too bad, really. I think we're gonna be just fine. It's gonna come out like a rocket. You ready? Looks like pretty decent gas, too. This is JB Weld that they put on the rag and then put it up on there and tightened it up to keep it from leaking. Pretty ingenious. I mean, it'd work to get you home, but it's not permanent. All right, we're just pulling the ground strap off the tank, throwing some wrenches down, itching in my nose, because it itches a little. I can't even get my finger in there to turn that bolt loose. That is not the most user-friendly place to put a ground. Jaden, looks like you've been trying to weld. I'm going to. Got it. He's got all my okay. stuff on. All right, here we bolt go. is out. It should come out. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I can come the other way. Let's try that. Huh. What do you know? That's real nice, Clark. Let's go back forward. It's really close. Oh. Here. Yeah. Ready? I got it. Okay, let's go over and see what we got. It's close to the same if it's not. I'll take that sander out and we'll get it put in there and we'll find out. Don't break this one. Don't break it? Yeah, we'll need this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a little healthier than the other one. Can't see why this is not going to just slip right in there and work. That looks like a gasket off a sprinkler line. I forget you're a farmer. Okay. Make it a home. She don't work. Only thing we don't have is a ground. We'll have to figure that out. No, it's so there. It with it, isn't it? Yeah, it comes with the center. So you're almost there. Okay, so now you it. put this back in. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're going to grab this tank, shove it back in next time you guys see it. 
we'll be trying to crank her. Okay, uh, I just found more problems. So they've, this wire is shorted out here. They silicone that to try to fix it. That's not the way to fix it. We're gonna have to take the battery cable off, cut the wire. Oh yeah, that looks yeah, good in there. It's toasted, so I'll fix that next. <laughs> Never ending hey, troubles with this truck. We were close. It was so close. We almost had this done. This wiring was bad. This, this truck was wait and t a ticking time bomb. So that's a bare wire. That's a bare wire. That up there is like completely bare and that's the main power wire coming down. And it ran through this steel bracket. I don't know how this thing wasn't arced out and ruined. Well, I'm glad you found it now. Yeah, we'll cut all that out and put some new wire in it and fix it right. What's that noise? We gotta look out there. Hey, it's raining. Well, we said something, now it's quitting. It's not quitting. Oh, it smells so good. All right, that's way more sanitary. Things are good now. We're gonna let it down and see if the smoke comes out or if uh, everything's happy. I think it's gonna be good. We'll try it and see. All right, we're gonna throw this battery cable back in here. See if it sparks. We got no spark. Everything seems to be okie doke. Down I guess I'll, I'll tighten this up and we'll try to crank it over and see if I hooked everything up. Make make flames. Okay, I'm gonna reach in. Don't run me over, it's out of gear, right? We're in neutral. Let's crank it. Come on. <laughs> this is the old crank. Do it, do it. We got all the wires, right? Is there one we forgot? No. Oh, I know what's wrong with it. I'll bet arcing that wire out popped the fuse. So that it didn't arc? Well, not that one. Um, they're all there. All right, we need to check, uh -oh. see what we got. I can hear the pump running back there, okay? I don't hear it running. Think that ground I put on is not grounding? Well, it ran before. I have good faith that you guys will fix this. Good, I'm glad someone does. Well, in true uh, Fab Rat fashion, we've made things worse than they were before. So, uh, this truck doesn't even run now, does it, Ben? We broke it. We changed the fuel pump and disturbing it, disturbed it. All right, we're back on this truck. We figured out what's wrong. This right here, it's a fuel pump. Somehow in taking the fuel pump out of the old tank and putting it in this new tank, we killed it. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. But there's zero fuel pressure. We have power to everything. So we're going to throw a fuel pump in this thing. And then I hope we're out doing burnouts. Just down. Look at you. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. There we go. All right. Now we can knock that thing out. Well, oh, there's 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah. So my theory on this is when we bent that thing, the little, this? it dislodged some junk inside of it, killed it. That's all I can figure. Yep, there was something in it. That is what happens. Well, it'll have a new one and the gauge will work. Exactly. If it doesn't start after we do this, we're going to need to shut the cameras off for a minute. <laughs> I'm going to take a hammer to this thing and fix it. <laughs> We'll make it right. All right, Land, I'm going to do you a solid. I'm going to put it back in for you. I was just about to say, Zid, you're done with your, your, your song. I'm done eating. You're done with your breakfast. Up and in. Who put all this gas in this? I'm happy with that. Yeah, right in that area, we'll get the lines on. Yep. All right. I back got, in the hole. I got the one fish through. I don't have the ground fish through yet. All right. There's the last line tight. I think we're ready to poke this thing up in. So. Yeah. Oh, sit daisy. All right. She's in. That'll do it. I think we've got this thing reassembled. We're going to let it down. Let's see if we got fuel pressure. There's no clutch switch on it. There? Nope. What we're looking for here is a little bit of spray. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're mechanical geniuses. We fixed it. <laughs> Woohoo! We fixed problems and created problems all at the same time. This had plastic wrapped around it and stuff down in here. It's all stripped out. So we're gonna put a helicoil in it, I guess, and fix it. 
Oh no. I got her to bite, man. Ben's handling the headlight. Then we got an oil pressure sensor that we got to do. That should fix some oil leaking problems we have. And it's yeah, test it's drive. Yeah. yeah, we're ripping it at that yeah. point. So next time you see us, we'll be backing this thing out of the shop. I like this. It's gonna be good. It can't be any worse than it's been. What's up, Gary? Bye. Oh yeah, we are out of here. Let's do it. Hey, the gas gauge is working now. That's pretty good, man. Oh really? Yeah. That's oh, good though. I think we'll, I think we'll keep this one. Yeah, we're gonna keep this one. This will be a good one for landing to rip around. Another square body on the road. Yeah. Uh, Looks like you're clear. <laughs> Like it or not, this is what he's got to drive. I like it. It's a good yeah. little truck. What are we? Oh, radio. Here? Oh, it is working. That's Sir Mix a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to let Michelle hear that. She's gonna giggle. We'll pull in and she'll she'll bust a groove to Sir Mix a lot. Lean in here. I told you she'd bust a groove to it. <laughs> what is uh, that? A CD? It's in it. Yeah, that was Monster Booty is what it's called. <laughs> Truck's good. She's mint. We're done with it. It's 100%. It's Landon's problem now. So. All right, so this truck is fixed. It's ready for land. We got a license insure it, and he can start driving it. My Dodge can get parked where it needs to be with no miles on it. Thanks for watching. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>